Bienvenue mes amis, welcome my friends, bienvenue sur le podcast French Class Teacher pour apprendre la belle langue française. Welcome to the French Class Teacher podcast to learn the beautiful French language. I give you all the basics you need to learn French easily and efficiently. I am Julie and I'm your French teacher. I'm here to give you the best moments for learning and for the lesson every Tuesday and Sunday. Another episode that takes you on practical learning through the French language today. Let's get started with muted letters in French. What is pronounced? What is not? Knowing when to pronounce or not pronounce silent letter is the key to knowing how to pronounce word in French. You can try to guess, but I advise you to learn the rule that follow. The French language favors silent letters at the end of words and therefore the end of words is often a source of questions and spelling errors. Understanding the basic rules of pronouncing silent letters from the start is ideal. There are three types of silent letter in French, the E muted, the silent H and the final consonants. The most common uh, silent letter in French now is the letter E and H, which are very often silent respectively at the end of a word and at the beginning of a word. I devoted an article to the silent E and H that you can find on my blog in this article, The French Alphabet and Pronunciation. Today, we are going to focus on the other consonants. There are 14 consonants that can be silent. B, C, D, F, G, H, L, P, R, S, T, W, X, Z. In the plural, most words take an S at the end, but the S is not pronounced. For example, un lapin, des lapins, rabbit, rabbits. Another example, un parapluie, umbrella, des parapluies. The letter S is silent at the end. There are also words that take an X uh, and this consonant X is not pronounced. For example, a cabbage, un chou, cabbages, des choux, un hibou, a hole, des hibou, holes. The letter X is silent. Now is a non-exhaustive but fairly complete list of nouns whose final consonant is not pronounced. For the letter B, often muted after a nasal sound like plomb, meaning lead. For the letter C, tabac, estomac, porc, convain, blanc, ban, clair, which means Tobacco, stomach, pork, convinced, white, bench, clerk, clerk. But the letter D and also the letter T are generally silent at the end of verbs in French such as répond, attend, or to answer, to wait, or For the um, single, sorry, uh, noun, nord, accord, blond, tard, for north, agreement, blond, late. About the letter F, ser, ner, clé, for stag, nerve, key. G. Temps, étant, point, bourg, a long, for blood, pound, feast, town, long. The letter L, one word, for example, sous, for drink. M, the sound often becomes nasal, like perfume, parfum. N, Most of the time, the sound is almost always nasal. 
faim, bon, pain, pan, for fine, good, train, peacock, pi, beaucoup, loup, pro, dra, cou, quand, for much, wolf, too much, shit, blow, camp, air, or, when it's an er at the end of an infinitive verb, what is pronounced as e, demander, ajouter, méditer, as ask, add, meditate, this also happens with other words, especially those ending in ye, like premier, first, métier, job, panier, basket, janvier, january, s, temps, sans, colis, bras, pas, parfois, for time, without, parcel, arm, not, sometimes. The letter T, port, l'eau, peau, chat, sport, règlement, muet, résultat, concert, for port, lot, pot, cat, sports, rules, mute, result, concert, X Who De Paix Animaux Choix To For lice To Peace Animals Choice Cough And Z Chez Né Répondez Appelez Home Nose Answer Call so you can see all these letters, we cannot hear them at the end of the world words, uh, even if they are written. Other cases, the letters E and T, E and T at the end of conjugated verbs are not pronounced in the third person plural. Example, il achète, they buy, les amis, the friends. But they are pronounced in the case of adverbs like gentiment, kindly, or lentement, slowly. Words ending with the consonants S and X. Now <coughs> you can hear that they are not pronounced but written. In French, the consonant S and T are silent at the end of word to the articles as LE, DE, etc. for THE. For <coughs> pronouns like as NOU, WE, VOUS, as YOU, E, as THEM, etc. And verbs JE VIS, I LIVE, tu veux, you want, etc. Plural nouns, les enfants, children, les pommes, apples. Now let's talk about exception. Well, I know, yes, in French there are plenty of exception. And you will find a list of words whose consonants are pronounced at the end of words. You can discover all this list with the file attached uh, in this uh, with this podcast and we are talking about exceptions so we're going to talk about liaison is uh, the pronunciation of a normal silent consonant when the word that follows begins with a vowel or a silent h an example to understand elles arrivent is pronounced elles arrivent they arrive Vous, vous êtes bien reposé. You've had a good rest. Quelqu'un est entré. Someone's come in. So if you have any doubt, 
I give you some tips to know if a word ends in a silent consonant. First, try to form the feminine form of the words. For example, skillful in French, adroit. Feminine form is adroite. So, adroit ending with a T. And gourmand, gourmande. Second, look for a derivative of this word. For example, scaffold, échafaud in French. We can say échafauder, the verb échafauder. So, scaffold, échafaud in French ends with the D. You can also help yourself with a connection, a liaison. For example, de bas en haut. From down to up, or do à do, do à do, back to back. Another way to memorize spoken consonants in is the word careful in English. Here, the C, the R, the F, and the L at the end of the words are pronounced. Exam, examples: un sac, a bag, un chef, a chief de l'or, gold, un fil, a thread. Here all final consonants are pronounced. pronounced. There you go, I think you now know everything about voiceless consonants. All you have to do is apply all of this and you will be unbeatable in your pronunciation. I have given you three exercises to test and assimilate in the file below and the transcription of this post pod podcast to understand better the uh, silent letters in French. I wish you a great day and take care. À bientôt.